It's BeCafe.com reporting today from Phillip Island where Nissan has launched its 2016 motorsport program. The day has included the unveiling of Michael Caruso's latest Nissan Nismo livery. We caught up with Michael to speak about the season ahead. Michael, another season with the factory Nissan team. Does it make it more special to again be wearing the factory Nismo colours? Oh, look, without a doubt, I'm, uh, I'm in a very fortunate position and to have Nissan support, you know, personally as a driver, um, you know, it, you can't feel but, um, you know, very chuffed about it because, uh, you know, it's, it's a unique, op uh, you know, position to be in, but, um, you know, obviously a lot of responsibility that comes with it. So, uh, really looking forward to this year. My car's looking really sharp, you know, that new livery change and, uh, you know, to have a bit of continuity, I guess, from a aero package side, uh, uh, you know, that we haven't had a big change in the off season or any change at all. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's great that we can head into this year with the exact same car and um, hopefully start off nice and strong. Delivery is probably the easiest bit to get right. What in particular has been the focus over the off season to uh, improve the results? Oh, look, um, you know, there's no doubt about it. You know, the engine's um, been a main focal point um, for the whole program. But, uh, you know, I think now in V8 Supercars, we all know that, you know, it's so tough out there and it's so close that you you know you can't just rely on one component or one department in the in the whole race team it's it's going to be pit stops it's going to be engine it's going to be car handling um, you know the team working together and you know obviously drivers everyone so uh, you know we really uh, you know been focused trying to cover everything that we possibly can because we know that it's going to take you know all all departments to put um, you know everything they've got into it and you know head to Clipsal in the right frame of mind. Do you feel that you're going to be able to challenge for wins this year? Obviously, it depends on what everyone else is doing because the whole game moves forward every year. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You know, you, you, we really won't know until we turn up, um, I guess, where we stand. You know, and, w you know, we think we're in a good position, but we're going to go do a test day out at Winton and, uh, you know, see how we go there. The track's obviously changed a fair bit. You know, it's been reserviced, so, um, you know, that'll be an interesting, um, you know, I guess, a test day to just understand that. And then, obviously, head to Clipsal where, uh, you know, we're on soft tyres. So, that again, you know, it's a little bit of a change. So, the whole field will be adjusting to, I guess, that little difference. So, uh, you know, it'll be, I think it'll be an interesting week you know as a whole to um, you know firstly know where you stand relative to your competition and um, you know those slight changes with tyres. There has been a lot of talk about engine through this whole program for three years but the results have been so inconsistent track to track do you feel that the team's still got a little way to go to fully understand chassis balance and that side of it too? Yeah, look, I think um, ultimately what's been difficult is that aero change, um, you know, obviously changes the balance of the car mechanically as well, as we all know. So, um, you know, that's sort of... I guess made the trend change you know one year we'd go to a, a certain track go really well and the next year maybe not not as well so um, you know where this year at least we got that same package and I think that's that's very very important you know to um, to head into each year with something that you do know something that um, you know uh, I guess most of the other manufacturers have had you know they know what they've got each year so um, you know that's something for the very first time we'll have. You're probably right at the peak of your game personally. Do you still feel like this is the team that is going to be the making of your career? Uh, look, me for me personally, I, I really enjoy being a part of uh, the Nissan program. You know, when I first came in, I knew it was going to be a lot of hard work, and um, you know, there's no doubt about it, it has been. And uh, you know, I've enjoyed it because it's something personally that um, I guess you get a lot of satisfaction out of. You know, working in the team, make, uh, I guess starting from the ground up with a program, um, and hopefully we'll get it to a point where you know we're coming away with um, you know some good trophies. Uh, you know, hopefully first place trophies because that's where we want to be. And um, you know, I've never. I guess being in a team where it's just so hungry, not just from a, I guess a team's point of view, but have that manufacturer, you know, I guess, you know, constantly being involved, um, showing their support, you know, both off the track and on the, tra on the track as well, has been a critical part of this whole program. Obviously, it's pretty competitive in the team amongst the cars. Um, you and James Moffat, both comedians, could be professional. You've swapped him out, and now Dale Wood in. How do you attract these lunatics? <laughs> no, look, it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting to have Dale. I mean, uh, you know, obviously being with Mo for the last three years, which was good and good fun. You know, lots of laughs, and uh, yeah, look, I think we all know Dale's a bit of a comedian as well. So uh, um, it'll be interesting to have someone new up in the A trailer with me to to share times with, and uh, you know, obviously spend a lot of time with your teammates these days. You know, not with just the on track activities, but the off track activities as well. So uh, I'm looking forward to you know, I guess um, you know getting to know someone new and um, you know I think he'll fit in the team quite well he's he's already got an existing relationship with the team and um, you know he knows the brothers quite well so um, yeah I think he'll be a good fit. Narrowly missed out on a 12-hour seat this year you must be itching to get a race opportunity somewhere. 
Oh, look, there's no doubt. I guess when I uh, when I signed up with Nissan, you know, there was always that thought, um, you know, to, to have an opportunity given their, I guess, their already pre-existing global motorsport program. And um, yeah, that's uh, there's no doubt that's uh, it's a special machine that they have here. And uh, you know, look, I'll be looking forward to watching the boys because um, you know they'll have a great chance. And you know, winning last year, that I know they're very excited to uh, you know head up there and hopefully defend the title. Stay tuned to speedcafe.com for all the news from the Bathurst 12-hour and the V8 supercar season.